Welcome back. Hundreds of residents from Karanjale Madkai boycotted the ZP elections on Wednesday. They had warned government to either take steps to get the saline water out from the flooded Kazan fields or face poll boycott. Out of 811 voters in the village, only 250 voted. That is around 31%. Farmers are opposing fishing activity in agricultural Kazan land since last four years. Janata Poirami would like an election boycott or the paper relay, then a call, deputy collector, and a Pasanda, Apuni, the issues of the Mudan. Puna Kidda and a pocket are open killing. Open kill and the Lamina Laka to Sarko, Puna Pandubuska, the main middler, the county bank kill is ready, but without Peter Ojana, and I am. the threat to boycott the ZP polls could severely affect the poll prospects of three women candidates contesting elections from Kavle ZP constituency, which has been reserved for women candidate. Earlier residents from Karanzal had protested against the illegal conversion of about 3.5 lakh square meters of agricultural Kazan land for fishing activity by storing saline water. Vivek Prabhu for Prudent. Union Environment Minister Prakash Zaudekar on Tuesday informed that MOEF has withdrawn suspension on environment and forest clearances of 72 mining leases in Goa. However, till late evening on Wednesday, order was not issued. Congress says that BJP has bluffed on the backdrop of ZP polls. On the other side, Chief Minister Lakshmi Khan Pasekar has left for Delhi along with the Chief Secretary. Union Ministry for Environment and Forest has decided to revoke suspension of ECs of 72 mining leases which were suspended in September 2012 by then Minister Jayanti Natarajan. This was informed on Tuesday by Union Minister Prakash Zavdekar and Chief Minister Lakshmi Khan Parsekar. However, even after 24 hours, no order has been issued. Neither the government, mines department, mine owner or stakeholders has any idea about it. The order has not been released on MOEF website also. Otherwise, the orders are usually uploaded on official website soon after the announcement. Congress spokesperson Durga Das Kamath has termed revocation of suspension of EC as an eye wash. Its revocation was to lure voters for BJP in ZP poll. Durga Das has challenged CM to show the order copy on Wednesday. Gajar Kashe Vikap, a Bharati Janta Party Sarkar expert Zalya. Kal voting a Puru Sandejar Jana declared Galeki mining EC revocation Kalamunun. Makadar Dubaiwa, current junket on the Ashat Utran Dilyamka. Mona Matsu curious Zalo. आज सकाई जाना जाना आमी MOA वाजी वेबसाइट चेक के लिए तो ये प्रेस रिलीज़ ने ऑर्डर दास साथ कल जो बट नथिंग रिलेटेड टू गोवा आओ मुख्यमंत्री एक चैलेंज दिता सांचे सौ वारा बिदर तो ने ऑर्डर का भी दाखोजी माइनिंग यूसी रिवॉक के लाय मुन्नू मीनवाइल चीफ मिनिस्टर लक्ष्मीकांत पार्सेकर अलोंग विद Komantvi Bhushan, son of the soil, and Padmashri Dr. Anil Kakodkar has resigned as chairman of the Board of Governors of IIT Bombay. Kakodkar's resignation has come ahead of a crucial meeting of a search come selection committee. Media report across nations cite Kakodkar's disagreement and spat with Union HRD Minister Smirti Irani due to selection of directors of three IITs. Kakodkar's term as IIT Bombay chairman was to end in May. The Human Resource Development Ministry is entangled in a new controversy with nuclear scientist Anil Kakodkar, chairman of the Board of Governors of the Indian Institute of Technology, IIT Bombay, putting in his paper ahead of a crucial meeting of a search come selection committee chaired by Minister Smriti Irani, which was to interview candidates for directors of three IITs. 
Sources claim that member of the selection committee and chairman of the standing committee of the IIT Council, Kakodkar resigned on March 12 after disagreement over the choice of an IIT director. Gomanda Vibhushan Awadi, son of Goan Soil, Dr. Anil Kakodkar, a man away from any kind of controversies, has these major achievements to his credit. Chairman of Atomic Energy Commission of India, Secretary to Government of India, Director Baba Atomic Research Center, Trombay from 1996 to 2000. He is the Chairman of Rajiv Gandhi Science and Technology Commission, Government of Maharashtra, Mantrayala, Mumbai, Padma Shri in 1998, Padma Bhushan in 1999 and Padma Vibhushan in 2009. Gomanta Vibhushan 2010 Modi government is on a spree of giving power punch to top level officers since its inception. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar too is a party to it. Most of his officers who quit are not even waiting for their tenure to complete. HRD ministry headed by Smriti Irani has been more in controversies recently. Even a govern like Dr. Anil Kakodkar could not escape it. Bureau report prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.